Yo, welcome back to Ready 2. I've been PC Live Palais and Fage Tech video today. We're looking at a different way to play Serena EX. That's going to be an Insta KO Serena deck. Now, Serena EX, we've tried many times. We've played it, you know, kind of as its own control deck with Hisuian Braviary and Panic Mask. And we've tried Serena with Vanellux as its own lock control deck. But now we're going to be trying Serena as an attacking deck. Yes, this deck aims to knock out your opponent in a one hit with Serena EX. And that's all thanks to Brute Bonnet and Radiant Sneasler. So Radiant Sneasler lets you do 20 more damage with Poison, and then you can poison your opponent with Brute Bonnet, of course, with the Ancient Booster Energy Capsule on the Brute Bonnet and the Sneasler, which then allows your Serena EX to put your opponent to 30 HP remaining, and then they take 30 damage from Poison in turn, knocking them out. And that is the idea of this deck. It is a bit of a gimmick deck, I know. Um, Serena's always been a gimmick deck, but I think a lot of people have kind of figured out the Serena matchup by now. I mean, it is a control deck. It is fairly easy to play against, and this build does have, you know, Panic Mass. It's still just a good card with Serena. There's no reason not to play it, but this deck does aim to just take knockouts in one hit. Like, your opponent's got an active Charizard EX. Okay. Poison. Sneasler. Serena. Knockout. Pretty easy stuff. You got a Pidgey on the bench. All right, boss, Sneezer, Poison, Knockout. So that's the idea of this deck. It's a bit of a cheeky way to play Serena, but I do like it nonetheless. I'm not the first person to play, by the way. I do want to give a shout out to For the Win TCG fellow YouTuber. He also did a video on it, this deck too. So I do also want to give him a shout out for playing the deck first. Um, but yeah, this deck is interesting and uh, it's a bit of a different way to play Serena. Again, as an instant KO attacker instead of playing it as a passive control style deck before we get the video big shout out to the sponsor card cabin tcg of course if you're looking for any pc live packouts get them over at card cabin of course if you're looking to get any paldean fate codes older sets like paradox rift 151 or some irl pokemon products and singles card cabin sells all that over there if you can think our card cabin at the checkout use my discount code code ldf get yourself a five percent discount on your order help the channel help yourself out and help our card cabin so shout out card cabin check them out use card ldf link down below also check out the second channel down below too for some extra content just did a video where I reacted to some new card reveals, which is kind of crazy because there's a brand new A spec that's very similar to Roxanne. So you definitely want to check that video out if you haven't already. So yeah, here is the full deckless view for the deck. There is one card I did add in the deck since uh, Palian Fates, and that's Atticus. Um, pretty cool card. We'll talk about that in a minute. But the deck is just all about Serena EX. We are playing that 413 Serena line. We got the bibs in the deck, the two brute bonnet, the one Sneasler. Unfortunately, we can't play more than one Sneasler. We have to play, you know, just one because it's a Radiant Pokemon. We are playing double Super Rod. The main reason why we're playing two is because if Sneasler gets targeted with a boss, we can just rot it back in the deck. Um, Lost City is not popular right now. In fact, some of the Charizard lists are cutting Lost City. But if you're playing against Charizard, the one deck that plays Lost City, you just, like, play a control deck at that point. Just use Panic Mass Serena to try to win the game that way. So it's a bit different. Um, but the Sneezers are nice. There is a new stadium coming out, I'm pretty sure, in Temporal Forces that... Might make this a little bit more legit. The new stadium, I think, is Sneasler on a stadium card, which might make the deck a little bit better. But here is the full deckless view. I am playing Arvin and Ear to split because we are playing six tools. That is one of the things with this deck is because you need a tool to activate the Brute Bonnet, Sneasler, Poison combo, you got to play Ancient Booster Capsules. So we're playing three Capsules and three Panic Masks because it's just a really good card with the Serena. Obviously, Serena leaves your opponent with 30 HP remaining, and then you can put Panic Mask onto the Serena, and then they can't attack you if they don't switch or anything, or evolve. We are playing Town Stores, the Stadium. Six Stadiums, once again, very important to have. Um, the Arvin's Irida split is nice. Irida does guarantee you the Serena, Rare Candy, but Arvin does get you Tool and an item. So you can just Arvin if, for Rare Candy Tool card if you want to go down that route. So I like having the split. And then I'm playing the Atticus in the deck. You can only use it if your opponent's active is poisoned. You poison a boot bonnet, and then you play Atticus, and you shuffle your hand into your deck and draw seven cards. Wouldn't mind playing two of these, to be honest. It's not a bad idea if you want to maybe fit two in the deck. I originally did play a Skullvit in the deck. I even think I had it in the first game in today's video, but I cut the Skullvit because I realized your ideal bench wants to be Serena in the active, Serena backed up on the bench, double Bibberol, so, you know, you can't just get boss out of the game. And then you want to have Brute Bonnet and Sneezer in place. So your ideal bench is kind of full. You can't really fit a school bit, but I did play one originally, but I cut it. Let's go show off this deck on live and see what it's all about. All right, turn of Serena. My opponent is benching a bunch of Pokemon, which is really good. I don't know what I'm playing against, so... Bro, the Serena mirror match? Wait, what? How is that even a thing? I mean, I guess that's... I guess that's what we're doing today. We're, we're playing the Serena mirror. Actually, I don't think I should have grabbed another Bound Suite. I don't play... Uh... I don't play Lost Vacuum. That's fine. All right. This is kind of a meme, but I'm, I'm down. I'm down for the mirror. 
I'm down for the mirror. Honestly, our hand's pretty good. Um, we got turn two, Serena. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. All right, we do see a heavy ball and a third bounce suite. Now, my question is, oh my God, the Serena mirror match. Are they playing Toad's Cruel EX or the other Toad's Cruel? No, oh, there's an Iono. Are they playing Toad's Cruel EX or the other Toad's Cruel that um, blocks superiors and Pokestops? Ooh, the Iono didn't give me an Irid. I was hoping we were going to get Serena here. I actually want to KO this Toad's Cruel so I can do my poison combo. So that's the plan. Now, let's see we draw. Switch. That's not rare candy. Rip. Hmm. Honestly, <clears throat> there's a lot of good cards in our hand here. I'm not sure what I want to do. Uh, maybe I'll just grab another Bidoof and then... I mean, I guess we'll bench this. Sure. I'll just Iono. I could Ultra Ball there. I, yeah, I probably should have Ultra Ball for Bibroll before I did Iono, to be honest. That was a misplay. Yeah, we got punished. Could still get rare candy, though. Is it worth it? Ultra Ball, Way Iono, Brew Bonnet. Yeah, we have two Super Odd. We'll go for it. I should have got Bibroll earlier. Um, but it looks like I, wouldn't, I wasn't really going to draw anything off the Bibroll anyways. I will go Bibs. Mask. We'll bench that. And we'll draw four. Can we find rare candy? We do. Yo, we even get Steeny. Okay, yeah, there we go. Never punished. Insane. Insane. All right. Unfortunately, I don't got a grass, so I can't knock out this thing. But I didn't get an, uh, no capsule either. I can't knock out the active. Nah, that's fine. Beggars can't be choosers. Um, Where am I putting this damage? I don't think it really matters, to be honest, because everything can evolve. I guess, like, technically it should go on the Rodom if I'm going to put any damage anywhere. It should theoretically go on Rodom. Uh, I, I guess. I don't know. Because, like, if I put damage somewhere, they're just going to evolve it. There's no point of putting it anywhere else. I did board lock myself, but Serena... Um, it's only damage, right? Prevent all damage. Yeah, so I can technically use Icicle Soul against other Panic Mask Serena. Actually, if my opponent is not playing their own Brute Bonnet, technically I should just win the prize trade with my Brute Bonnet. That's my thought process here. Maybe I shouldn't have benched Sneasler so early. Might have been a mistake to do that. I doubt they play Lost City, though. I just need to make sure I keep my Super Rods. We have a pretty uh, good setup right now. We just need to find an Ancient Booster Capsule so we can start poisoning my opponent. There's an Arvin. Now, if my opponent is literally playing Toad's Cruel EX, I might be in a lot of trouble because I cannot one-shot Serena with that Toad's Cruel. And I actually can't do anything against Serena with Toad's Cruel because Toad's Cruel's ability prevents effects of attack. So if they have a Toad's Cruel EX in the deck, I literally just get completely bodied by this. I should have put the Grass Energy on the Serena, dude. Oh my god, dude. If they have Toad's Cruel, we're actually farmed. Ooh, they do play Lost Vacuum. I wasn't expecting that. There goes our Panic Mask. That's probably not relevant, to be honest, because we're trying to one-shot them. Because we're the we're the aggressive Serena decks. So maybe it doesn't matter. Yeah, if they get this Toad's Cruel and play them, I'm actually going to be a little worried. It's actually really bad. I didn't get Toad's Cruel knocked out. We'll see, though. We have an okay turn here. Ideally, we knock out the Serena right away, and then we can, like, drop kick this at some point. This mirror match is goofy. Not gonna lie. It's a goofy mirror, but we'll beat the mirror, bro. The, I believe in the mirror. There's Switch. Oh, boy. Do they have Toad's Cruel EX? Do they have anything, actually? Currently, they can't draw many cards. There's no draw engine in play. They don't have Bibber If I actually just knock out Serena here, and I don't... Well, if I knock him out, I don't have to Iono them. I think we're in a really good spot. Okay, this is weird. What do we draw? That's not helping. Oh, God. Okay, well, Bibro for two. Can I get an Ancient Booster Capsule? We do! Let's go, baby. I'll save the Grass Energy. Yeah, we'll save the Grass, because we might need it to Trop Kick next turn. Just in case. All right, sick. We get to KO my opponent. Let's go. And they have a one-card hand. What are the chances that that one card can actually let them play the game? I guess... They could knock me out with Bounce Sweet, I guess, because we're poisoned. Yeah, Bounce Sweet KOs me, which is kind of funny, but then we just knock out... Actually, then I should attach to the Steeny then, but I'll just knock him out with the Poison anyways. If I can actually find Serena. Honestly, our hand isn't very good. I don't have a lot of... I, where's my Iridus at? <laughs> I haven't played Iridus and Arvin yet. I gotta draw something to get another Serena down. Yeah, they can knock me out with this Bounce Sweet, which is a bit of a meme, but whatever. At least we took out their first Serena. 
Honestly, all we have to do is take two knockouts or one more Serena, and then I can just like kill this Rodom at any point in the game. They've already burned a vacuum. I highly doubt they're playing two. So they might have a hard time getting rid of the Ancient Booster Capsule on our Brute Bonnet. Okay, we need to get a good top deck here, or else we could be in trouble. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. We can Super Rod. Get back this, this. Just in case, I should probably put Brute Bonnet. I guess I don't need the Grass Energy. We just put these three back. I might need the Brute Bonnet in case I go after it with Boss. I'm just going to Bibberol. There we go. Nice. Let's go, baby. The cleanest Ultra Ball of all time. I don't have another Bounce Weed in play here, but that's fine. I probably shouldn't Iono them, considering they didn't. They don't have anything going on. Should probably just take the knockout. Can they knock me out? If they go put me to 30, I'll be poisoned. I would still technically live, so I'd have another turn. Hmm. I probably should try to get a bounce sweep. All right, screw it. I'm an Iono. I don't want to give him more cards, but if on the off chance I get Rickety, Serena, we're in trouble. Ooh, we whiffed the bounce sweep anyways. It's fine. We got a second Bibs. I lied. Can we find a bounce sweep here? I've already burned my nest ball, but... Okay, nice. Cool. All right. We'll knock out the active. I still need to kill that Toad's Cool. Dude, if they're playing Toad's Cool EX, I actually think we could be in a lot of trouble. Um, but we'll knock this out and see where the rest takes us. Yeah, the, the Serena EX mirror, yo. I'm so down. Okay, we'll see what they do. I probably gave him Rikini Serena off this, like, at least in Irida, but we'll see. Yeah, I think we had to Iono. I don't know. Like, I don't think Serena's getting KO'd next turn. But just to be safe, we should probably just... We should have probably have gotten a Bounce Suite there. Like, I think it was still correct to just try to get a second Bounce Suite in play. We have Arcane Serena number two. We can drop kick my opponent if worse comes to worse. I don't know. We're in a, we're we're chilling. We're chilling. If they just go Arcane Serena, we just knock them out. I could even switch into a second. So if they hit me here, I can switch into Serena. Do I want to do that though? Because then I might get like Braviary. I should probably just let the Serena die. I think. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see. They got. If they don't have Arcane Serena here, we're in a good spot. I mean, all I gotta do is take two more knockouts to win, basically. Because I can try to kill the Rodom. All I have to do is boss Rodon and poison it. Or drop kick it. They're attaching a Toad's Cool. There's a Nest Ball for another Bounce Sweet. Do they have anything? Do they have an Iono? Do they have anything going on? They do have an Iono, but that's not going to be an Irida. So they have to hit a rare Caney Serena off of the Iono. What are the chances that happens? Let's see it. Do they find rare Caney Serena here off of the Iono? No shot, right? No way. Hmm. Let's see it. Is it there? I think the big thing with my opponent is dead, because they just don't have a bib roll in play. Like, they just, yeah, they they don't got it. They're just going to have to sacrifice Rufflet or Toad's Cool. All right. Oh, I guess they can use Toad's Cool's first attack. Okay, that puts me to sleep. All right, if I don't wake up here, it's actually kind of annoying. Bro, no shot I don't wake up. What? Okay, we have Switch, obviously. That was a good draw. Do I have Thing in the Deck, Panic Mask? We do. That's actually jokes that they put me to sleep and I didn't wake up. I need an energy card. Um, I mean, yeah, I have to take this knockout. My card's going to Irida. Grab these two. I just need an energy. Five in the deck. I mean, if I whiff, this is pretty bad. I mean, we just go for it. I right, see an energy. Every time. Ooh, I whiffed. I got boss, which is nice. All right, try again. Bibberol, please give me an energy. Yes. That was close. I think, I mean, I had to go for that play, I think, right? Because I actually really want to KO this Toad School. I have game in hand, too, actually, so that's good. And we'll just High School Soul. If we don't get Ionoed here, we have the guaranteed boss for game on the Rodom. Unless they somehow heal Rodom or remove it from the board. So we have game. Looking good. The Serena Mirror Match. I don't know if they're playing Toad's Cruel X or not. I can't tell because my opponent's... Uh, 
you can't you can't see you can't see deckless anymore after the match i'd really like to know if they had toad truly x though because that actually probably would have made it more harder for me to win the game because i can't do icicle soul when there's a toad truly x in play i'd have to knock it out hmm they could have just been playing i mean maybe they did Ooh, counter catcher that might buy them a turn actually i guess I guess there is a way they can win. Yeah, I was going to say, they can counter catcher. If I don't move Brute Bomb... Well, they need Rare Kini Serena here, too. Okay, they don't have it. Okay. I can't win this turn. Crap. My other switch is prize. We do just lose. Or we don't lose, but it's tough. Is my other switch in the deck? Okay, good. I can just Irida for switch. But if we get Iono, it's kind of annoying. But I have game in hand. I have game. I think we just Irida for Switch. And then... Yeah. Yeah, I think we just Irida for Switch and pass. Because if they counter catch for me again, then I have no way to move group on it. And then they can go Serena, Serena twice, and then just win with Braviary. So I think I just... I need to save the switch for the game-winning turn. So we just hold on to... I guess maybe I should even have... Honestly, I don't think I even should have played the Irida there. Honestly, yeah, no. Maybe I shouldn't even have bothered playing that. Because technically my opponent now knows I have a switch. And they can Iono me. Because they could just go Rurikini Serena and then I just win on the spot. Maybe I, I shouldn't have played that... Maybe I should have played the Irida. But they're going to Irida anyway, so we have game. They can't... Win, yeah. Because, yeah. Even if they knock me out with Trop Kick, I just go... Boss... Trop kick, knock out their Rodom. They have to, like, fill their board up and collapse stadium. Do they really have all that, though? Even if they do, I have another Bruban in hand. I just I just kind of have game in hand. They have to get my Sneasler. That's, like, their only chance. I just have I just have game in hand regardless. Because I either boss Rodom, or I have a second Bruban and a second Ancient Booster Capsule to put down to knock out this Serena EX. We'll see if they do. They have to move the Bounce Suite, too. This thing's going to not, not get knocked out by Poison. I guess they wanted to retreat it. I mean, I just have game. They didn't Iono me, so it doesn't matter really what they do. They have to, like... I don't know. Not, they had to Iono me to prevent me from winning here. Yeah, they're just going to quick blow. Well, now this thing's just going to get knocked out by poison, which isn't great for my opponent. All right. We beat the Serena Mirror. Let's go. I, I don't know how we beat Serena Mirror, but we did. Serena Mirror go burr, I guess. That's pretty funny. All right. Let's see what our prize was here. Rare candy. All right, that's game. We can... Uh, we can just knock out the active, which is pretty cool. We use Toxic Powder. And then... We can switch. And Icicle Soul. That works, too. Yeah, Icicle Soul gets around Panic Mask. Because Panic Mask is only damage, not effects of attacks. So, that's kind of cool. The Serena Mirror. All right, that's how you beat Serena Mirror. If you're scared of Serena Mirror, play Brute Bonnet. That's the way to go. Group on it fixes the mirror match for you. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Just anytime they went to because they're trying to control and lock me, and I'm just like, knockout. Knockout. Cool stuff. I don't know if they had Toad Scroll, though. I really wish I knew if they had Toad Scroll X, though. All right, we're going first. We have a pretty, pretty good hand. I mean, yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, we got these, which is good. We can grab probably this. Didn't get uh, no mana fee. It's kind of a bummer. Yeah, not heavy mana fee kind of sucks. That's fine. We can Toxic Powder and pass. Pretty good turn one. Um, I don't know what I'm playing against. Could be Goldengo. Could be Palkia Ice Rider. Probably both those matchups are fine. It, not heavy mana fee is a bit of a bummer because they can obviously Greninja me here, which would not be good. So we have to be mindful of that. Iron Bundle. There's a heavy ball. It's fine. They grab another Palkia. Iron Bundle's potentially awkward here. Not really, though. I don't really care if they play it, because I have to retreat the Jirachi anyways, so shouldn't matter too much. There's a Nest Ball getting played. Let's see what they grab at this. Reading Greninja? Because I'm a little scared. I need to evolve my stuff. I gotta get double... Yeah, I want ideally get double Serena. No, it is an Ice Rider Palkia deck. Okay, they do have Ice Rider in the deck. Not sure what else they're playing, though. We're gonna find out. We are gonna see... Water energy. Are they going to use Iron Bundle is the question. I want them. I don't really care if they do, actually. Ooh, an Iono. Okay, there goes our hand. Our hand was good because we had Bibberol, but if we can find Serena here, it's okay. 
We do. Got Rare Kenny Serena, Ultra Ball for Bibberol. That's a pretty good hand, not gonna lie. Lake Acuity. It's fine, it doesn't do anything. Obviously, we don't care about that because uh, we are not doing damage with Serena. And they actually don't even bother doing Rule Bit Region. Okay. So we need to get... We need Sneasler here to knock him out. I maybe could have Battle VIP for Sneasler, but I also didn't know what I was playing against. I didn't want to like walk into like an Avery or something, which is why I played it a little safe. Um, honestly, I definitely want to take this knockout, 100%. I take the KO here. But the question is, do I grab Bibberol? Every card in the hand is pretty good. I really want this knockout. I think we're just going to ditch these two. We can probably do fine without another Ancient Booster Capsule. We can Arvin for the... Uh, we can Arvin next turn for the other Bibberol. So we'll just knock out Palkia. Yeah, we can we can Arvin next turn for the other... Uh, we can Arvin for Bibberol, so we'll just save that. Or we get a good prize. Or the Iona me again. We get two prizes. Manaphy? Yo, Manaphy and Bonnet, Not bad. Manaphy's pretty good. Though, unfortunately, we are board locked. As long as I get two Serenas in play, the Greninja play is less awkward. But Serena's really tanky here. They cannot one-shot me with their Ice Rider Calyrex V max. They could do, what, 250 to me? Not a big deal. They got Melanie. That's fine. They need the V max here in order to attack me. And if they whiff it, we could be chilling. Honestly, we're probably just going to Arvin for Ultra Ball and Panic Mask and just ditch the, ditch the Mana Fee. Crushing Hammer. Wait, what the heck? They're playing that? No, and they flip heads? What? Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll super rod. Get back the grass since we lost. That's fine. A little annoying. Do they have the Ice Rider VMAX? They have a Poke Gear here. What is that going to grab them? They could play the... Another Melanie. They could play Iron Bundle this turn. Actually, that'd be a little annoying. They Iron Bundle me here. That's actually kind of bad. Because then I can't... I have to get Switch Energy. But they also might want to hit me for 40 to get damage on me, right? To soften me up to be KO'd later on in the game. Both plays are actually pretty good. My opponent wants to go for either play. Do they have the VMAX? They get the VMAX. Three prizes right there. What's bro cooking? They could whip the VMAX. They... Okay. Nah, they're doing the Iron Bundle. Um, we'll give him Jirachi. I could give him another Bounce Suite, hit another Rare Candy Serena, but I'm already Arvening, so I'm already, like, committed to this Bibberol. I'm probably not gonna... I, I don't know. I'm probably not gonna get Rare Candy Serena and an Energy. Not gonna happen. I, I think it's safer just just give him the Jirachi, and then it's a better chance we get Switch plus Energy. There's Panic Mass. That's good. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll Arvin. Grab these two out of the deck. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Ultra Ball, get rid of these two. Grab Beebs. Okay. We'll Super Rod. What do I want up the back? Grass, grass, this. Just to have this. I guess uh, Beedoof would have been good too, actually. I don't know. It's fine. We just need Switch Energy here. Can we do it? Switch Energy one time? No. All right. I, I can't do the poison there because I will knock out my own Jirachi, and I do not want to do that, obviously. Unfortunate with... That was a pretty big hammer. I'm not sure why they're playing that, but man, it just bodied us. The Iron Bundle is pretty good too, obviously. Candice? Wait, what? Okay, they're playing something. I have no idea what I'm playing against. But they do have a Candice here, which doesn't get him a nice Rider VMAX. That, that's uh, not that great for them. Yeah, maybe we should have got Bidoof instead of this guy back. But like, at that point, even if they got for my Bibberol, it's like, I'm just going Serena Iron Bun Brute Bonnet anyways and knocking you out. It doesn't really matter. And Ultra Ball anyways. Okay, then. Yeah, we can Iono here and try to get an energy and a switch. No, they're probably going to knock me out. I want them to KO. I don't want this Jirachi double turbo too. Okay, I have no idea what this is. Don't know what I'm playing against. Yeah, I want them to kill the Jirachi so I can bench other basic Pokemon. The Jirachi is not uh, of use to me right now. Yeah, it's fine. There's an energy on the Palkia, sure. Do they have anything else? Just a knockout? Okay. So we just need a grass energy, and we can obliterate this Ice Rider VMAX. 320 HP, 
Pokemon? Not today, bro. I'm the better water type. Okay. Tina Grass. Ooh, bro. I want to play it. I don't play Vessel. Oh, I'd love to play that right now. I think we got Iono. That would guarantee me Serena, but I can't get an energy. I could Ultra Ball with the Irida and try to thin, but I think it's better just play it safe, go Iono. We got there, so. Like, this knockout, like, we just take this knockout, we're probably winning the game. So, we just take it. So, we just go Toxic Powder. And just like that, d delete the Ice Rider. This combo's kind of sick. Sayonara, Insta KO Serena combo. What do you know about that? We are poisoned, but we have 300 HP, 290 effectively with poison. Like, we're chilling. All right, what do we got off the prizes? That's yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Yeah, my opponent is in trouble. They have to knock out Iron Bundle here. Or Iron Bundle. Brute Bo Why do I keep saying Iron Bundle? Brute Bonnet. Bro, I'm getting the names mixed up. They need to knock out the Brute Bonnet here. Which, even if they do that, I can still just, like, drop kick them. Arceus? Do they have an Iona? They have to Iono me. Defiance ban? That's fine. That doesn't let them knock me out. This thing is not dying anytime soon. Bro is a thick one. Do they even have the V-Star? Boss? Ooh, they got it. They have to kill the Brew Bonnet. They can't KO anything else. They have to go for... I, they could KO the Bibberol. But, like... Yeah, I was gonna say, if you don't knock out... Well, they even have the knockout. They need a Palkia V-Star. I have Switch in hand. I just have game. Their best place to maybe stall me, I guess. I haven't played a Switch yet. Oh, they don't got it like that. Okay, well, they probably would have had a better game if they didn't lose their Ice Rider just like that. But we all Gucci. We just got a Switch. And then Toxic Powder. And that's the game. I can even... Um, I was going to say I could Trop Kick. It's not enough damage. That's cool, though. That's pretty sick. That one Serena just bodied my opponent. That's pretty cool. We just deleted an Ice Rider VMAX. That, that, the three prize VMAX... Not a threat, bro. Not a threat. GG's. The deck's kind of cool. You get the combo set up. Not hard to do, considering Serena's easy to find with Irida. That was pretty cool. It was kind of matter getting energy there, but we got another dub with the deck. And we just showed off the power of the insta-KO combo. We hit a Serena mirror match again. Okay, then. I mean, I, I guess. It's not a bad matchup. Unfortunately, our start is horrible, though. This is a bad starting hand. Oh, my gosh. Not good. Serena Mir, though, I mean, we, we'll see what happens. This hand is not good, though, and my opponent he did get rid of a Serena EX, which is good. They don't get energy down. We can't win next turn. Okay, no energy, so at least it gives us another turn. Okay. Dude, every card in my hand is good, though, too. But I have to thin. I have to. We have to Ultra Ball for our own Bidoof. Unfortunate. Got to give up a few good cards. We do need the Sneasler. We know that this matchup is fine because we trade pretty well into them. We are the aggressive Serena. They're playing a passive Serena deck here with Rufflet and Braviary. We're playing an aggressive Serena. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. That was an unfortunate hand for my opponent. Double Serena, double rare candy discard. Unfortunate for them. That's good for us. All right. They might have prized for third Serena. Artisan's good. Get Brubana with that, I guess. We'll see if they got Rare Candy Serena. Oh, they're playing Vanellux. That is not good. No, not Vanellux. Vanellux is terrible for us. Bro, not like this. Oh my god, I'm still bricking. Grab Brew Bonnet. I, do I have poison here? Sure. I'm going to save the Rare Candy Serena. We don't want to overbench. So that's, yeah, we're just going to have to wait on that. We can knock out Bounce Sweet next turn with poison. So that's good. We can force my opponent to switch here. They are down two Serena Xs. I need to kill that Vanilla, dude. Vanellux is terrible for us. Because if I can't attack, I can't win. Okay, there's an Iona. We do lose our Rickany Serena, but at least we get more cards. We should find something playable here. Surely. Or not. This hand is somehow even worse than the last hand, potentially. Where are my supporters? And they hit their Serena Rare Candy. But they evolved the bench, which means they're committed to the active getting killed, which is good. Hmm. Is the active going to get KO'd here? It is. Let's go. Nice. That sucks that they... Iona mean to still dead cards. Dude, come on. Give me something good off my prizes at least. No, that's not what I need. What? Not like this, bro. They promote Bounce Suite, though. Interesting. Okay, there we go. I can't attack, though. Okay, I'm going to retreat into Bounce Suite still. Because I want to keep Sneasler alive. And we're going to bench that. 
I guess we'll put that on. I do want to kill this thing, though, if I can, too. I don't want to give them... Do I give them a free town store? I really want them to have an artisan. I'm not going to play artisan either. I'm not going to bench lock myself. Let's do this. I could ear to here for Bibberol. That might actually be an optimal idea. Yeah, get Ultra Ball Bibberol here. But I also just have guaranteed Serena for next turn. Nah, I'll just pass. I'll hold the I'll hold the Irida. I don't know if that's correct or not, but I'm gonna hold it. My opponent can't knock me out, so. The only benefit of getting Bibberol though is I do want to chase down this vanilla, but I don't think I'm gonna get Rare Kenny Serena and Boss. It's highly unlikely. So I'm just gonna hold it. It's fine. We'll be okay. The Vanilla looks is scary. We're gonna have to tackle with a fresh Serena at some point, though. We're just not gonna evolve everything at once. Like, we're just gonna keep one bounce, one Serena in play at all times. There's a second year. A good thing they lost that other Serena. So, yeah, I was gonna say, they probably don't have a Rikini Serena here. They got Vanilla ish. Dude, I need to deal with that thing immediately, bro. That thing needs to be dealt with. They have to retreat, obviously. Are they not? No, wait. Okay, I was gonna say, <laughs> like, yo, free prize? Hmm. Okay, it's fine. Do they have a lost vacuum? There's a nest ball again. Fail it. Okay, good. I was gonna say they get another vanilla. That gets sketchy. Hmm. Ooh, my brute bonnet. Interesting. Okay. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Sure. Ooh, what if they play lost vacuum? They can actually knock me out. Yikes. That was a good top deck. We can go Ultra Ball Serena. Nice. That was good. Rare candy Serena. Do this. I'm gonna town store for my other panic mask. I don't think I'm gonna need three panic masks. I think it's okay. Well, I'm gonna keep the Bruban in around just in case. Yeah, it's kind of an important card to have. Yeah. Because they could, just in case they play like a vacuum or something. Yeah. I mean, we can find Super Odd, but it's just better safe than sorry. Oh, we got boss. Nice. All right, we have boss for next turn, which is good. Okay, cool. All right, we get the knockout here with Serena. We have boss on Vanillish, which I am very, very much going to do next turn. Now, my opponent is out of Serena's here, so they have to have another Rickany Serena. But they are out of Serena. They need to find a Super Rod here, or they have to play four Serenas, but I don't think they do. So I think we're okay. We'll see, though. They could Iono me. They probably will, to be honest. So I don't think this boss is going to stick around, but it would be nice to have boss again so I can boss out that Vanillish and knock it out because I really do not want Vanillix to come into play. That card is very bad for us. There's an Irida... Let's see what they got. Okay, they play four Serena, apparently. They found room for four Serenas? Bro, no way. Okay, that's fine. We're just going to knock out the active, right? Do we just knock out the active? Escape rope? All right, that's fine. Give him the bound suite. Actually, a decent escape rope. I don't really have anything going on in my hand right now. Okay, give me a top deck. Okay. That was actually a pretty annoying escape room, <laughs> because now I'm stuck, and I can't do the boss play. Bruh. Um. Okay, then. I don't want to put two Serene Xs in play. That feels like a trap, but I might have to. I think I have to. Yeah, it's fine. We're going to have to. I don't like this, because I don't want to, like... Why did I grab? I grabbed Serena. No, I already had the thing in my hand. What did I do that for? Oof. I don't know why I did that. I'm trolling. Actually a troll. I'm going to keep the B-Doof. I just want to draw an energy. Do I boss now? I smell only boss. If I whiff, it's fine. They're also stuck in the active, so let's just do Bibberl. Yeah, I whiffed. Okay. It's fine. The whiff is annoying. That was a really annoying escape rope. I could knock out Bibberl here with Serena, and then I just have to kill the active Serena to win the game. Is that just the play, then? Might... Yeah, you know what? That's probably the play, then, honestly. So our only other switch, but... That's fine. Yeah, I'm fine with this. That's... Ah, oh, it is risky, though. Yeah, it's fine. They also now have no draw engine in play. Yeah, we'll just knock out the active. That's fine. I need to get switch off the prizes, because actually, they could stall and win the game if I don't get switch. We didn't get switch. Okay, that could get awkward. <laughs> they could potentially spam. They could counter catcher, trap this, spam Serena, and then Braviary for game. There goes our boss. That's fine. 
We just have to knock out the active to win. All right, let's see what the Iono gives me. Grass Energy Atticus is pretty good. There's Bound Sweet. There's a Nest Ball. They have to move the Serena or else they just win the game here. Or they have to have a lost vacuum. But I feel like they would have grabbed it like a turn earlier with that last year that they played. Yeah, that's game. They scoop it up. Yo, Serena mirrors are real, bro. What the heck? We're 2 0 in the mirror. And the mirror's pretty good. They had Vanellux, which is scary. Um, but we got there in the end. That's good. Yeah, the mirror mirror's not bad because the normal Serena decks play very passive. We're just aggressive. We're just like knockout, 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 knockout. Just every time. All right, in this game, we're up against Roaring Moon, and we're going second, or first, and my start is not very good. I'm gonna have to switch into Sneasler so they can't more peco me. I mean, if we can draw a, re a Serena EX here, it's not bad. The only downside is with Moon, it's not really the greatest matchup. We can't poison Moon because of Ancient Booster Capsule, and they can kill my Serena without needing, uh, like, Panic Mask. Like, does nothing. So, this matchup is, like, kind of bad, honestly. This could be a bad matchup, but... Our hand start like it's okay, and there's the Ancient Booster Capsule. See, now I can't poison the Roaring Moon. Rip. All right, we'll see what they got. They got an Ultra Ball for, obviously, Billy. Yeah, I got that Squawk of Billy, bro. Get that get that turn one Billy. No, they get Luminion. Well, they can't use it. Oh, they're going to use it anyways. Okay, well, they've already done the, the Avery, so that doesn't matter. We're going to Iono them, so it's all... Well, what do they even grab? Sada? Okay. I mean, I have to Iono, but I'm, like, thinking, do I even Iono? Do I pokey stop? Yo, do I dare dig for an Ultra Ball? Dude, the devil on my shoulder is saying go for it, but I don't know. I don't really want to Iono them. What do we draw? Give me an Arvin or to Grass Energy? I don't really care if they saw to. Yeah, I don't want to Iono them. They have three cards. I mean, we know one is a Sada. There's like no reason to Iono. I'll spin the Pokestop. I think it's fine to spin it here. Yeah, never punish. Look at that. Boom. We get Nest Ball for another Bounce Sweet. Pass. Yeah, it's fine. I don't want Iono. I mean, we know they have a Sada, and they probably have a Dark Energy in their hand, and they have the Pokestop, but, like, I'm not going to give them six new cards. This is not going to happen. This is going to pass. And it paid off, because we, we hit an Ultra Ball with the Pokestop, so we can Ultra Ball next turn for a thing. I don't want to lose too many Ionos, though, so I don't know. Might have to get rid of Super Rod plus our top deck, which I'm fine with. They're playing Path? Okay, that's fine. I don't really care about Path the Peak too much. I mean, they have to get rid of it anyways to knock out my Sneasler. They have to get rid of the Path here regardless, so they got to do it. Are they going to do it? Are they going to kill Sneasler? I don't really care if... Yeah, they are. I was going to say, I don't really care if the Sneasler dies because we don't need it in this matchup. Considering Ancient Booster Capsule, right? What do we draw? Ooh. I want to keep my Ionos around. But I need the... I need the Serena here. Unfortunate. I could have Super Rotted plus Bibberold for one. It wouldn't have mattered, though. I would, I would have had to get rid of an Iona regardless. Doesn't really matter. Let's go Beebs. See what we got. That's good. Got the Steeny, baby. Could Irida. It might be better to save the Iono for next turn. Yeah, I'll Irida. I, I like saving Iono here, actually. It's not a bad idea. Grab Nest Ball and Serena. Could grab Brew Bonnet. Pretty sure the poison damage is irrelevant. I, I mean, they might not. I mean, some maybe they don't have that many Ancient Booster Capsules, though. Okay, well, Ice Cool Soul. So now if they want to do Frenzy Gouging, they have to knock themselves out. Still, though, it feels pretty bad. The only benefit of doing Iono there actually was to find an energy card for the drop kick attack, which I kind of wanted to. Yeah, like I said, Roy Moon can be a tough matchup for this deck. I don't know. We'll see. It's not a great matchup. We'll see what happens. They have another Avery. Bro's playing double Avery. Bro does not want to lose to Gardevoir. They're playing a Bibberal Engine. Ooh, that's interesting. All right. Can they build up another Roy Moon this turn? Double Super Rod. They are cooking. They have a lot of a lot of stuff in their deck. Avery's Rod, Path, Bibberal. There's a Vessel. Hmm. That's fine. I mean, if they knock themselves out... Okay, I was going to say, hopefully they put another Capsule on, because then I can I can Ice Skull Soul that, too. Because they're probably going to knock themselves out going to Marpeko, obviously. Oh, no, dude. No, don't tell me they can build up a fresh Roaring Moon. That's really bad if they can build up another Roaring Moon here. That's like, we're cooked. 
Okay, good. I was going to say, if that happened, it'd probably be, like, game over. This really sucks, though, because, like, we just don't have the ability to survive a hit from Frenzy Gouging. It's just, it's cheesy, bro. We can't do anything about it. They have to kill themselves, though. That's, like, our only way to win is to hope they walk into that. Feels bad, though, for sure. Good prizes. Do we ever respect water energy? I highly doubt they're... They're playing Avery. Yo, what if they actually play water energy? There's no shot they're playing water energy. Okay, what do we draw? Anything good? Irida? Cool. Yeah, I'm... They're not playing water energy. I'm gonna just be like, nah, fam. You ain't playing waters. Actually, I'm not sure why I grabbed... I forgot I had a Serena in hand, lol. That's fine. Well, Iono. Yeah, I don't know why I grabbed another Serena when there's already one in hand. Ooh, with the energy. Town store. I do not want to play that. I'm just going to give him a four seal stat. That feels so bad. I really hate playing the town store here. But I don't want to give them... Yeah, I hate to do that, but... Because they have four seal stone, but I got to draw an energy. And I whiff the energy. Well, this game's over. Yeah, that's... uh. That'll do it. That's that's the end of the game. That's it. They just that's that's game. Unless they somehow don't have an energy in their hand, but I they do. So yeah, <laughs> that's GG's. I mean, ideally they don't have four seal stone. Plus somehow they have no energies. But that's game. If they knock me out, it's yeah, it's game over. We needed to not whiff an energy. We whiffed. Unfortunate. Yeah, that's it. that's game. I mean, I can. I don't know what I can. There's nothing I can do. That that's that's GG's. They're gonna frenzy gouging. Yeah, nothing I can do. That was I needed a knob with energy there because they had to knock themselves out with the Roin Moon. It was still tough to win that. It's just unfortunate we just didn't get energy there. I mean, it is what it is. And there you have it. That is the Serena EX Brute Bonnet deck in action. Pretty fun deck to play. Playing aggressive with Serena is kind of cool. Instead of, you know, just passively Icicle Soul spamming your opponent, being able to abuse Brute Bonnet's cool. Because you're playing a lot differently than how you usually play. Because Serena is a deck that I think a lot of people are used to seeing now with the Panic Mask and the Vanilla. So having a different approach where you just knock the active out is pretty cool. The instant knockout Serena Cheese with Brute Bonnet Sneasler is kind of sick. I don't know what I would really change about the list. A third stadium probably would be good. I You could add an artisan, a third town store would be kind of cool. Could go up to four Iridas. I like the Arvin, though, because, again, being able to find tools is good. Sometimes you do have to fall back on the Panic Mask game plan within the deck. I guess a Counter Catcher, another Gust would be good. Um, other than that, I like the list. I like the deck. The deck's cool. Thanks for watching the video. If you all enjoyed the video on the Serena deck here, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 56,000 subs. Thank you all once again for all the support on the content, as always. I do appreciate you all. And check out the second channel down below. I did a video where we reacted to some new card reveals that I uploaded. Well, by the time you might be watching this, it would have been, like, not that long ago. So definitely go check that video out if you want to see some new cards, including a pretty new Toxic A-Spec card. Yeah, check them out. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.